what is up? It is your girl, Bella, back at you with another video. Today is going to be a um, everyday base makeup kind of a thing. I decided to do everyday base makeup specifically because I don't really stick to a certain eye look or um, lipstick every day. I kind of just like do whatever I'm feeling that day. Sometimes I will repeat a look. Most of the time it's just you know, whatever I feel like doing that day. So there's like really no routine behind that part of my makeup. Without further ado, let's get into the video. So this is like my everyday makeup bag. It contains, I don't wanna like spill all of it, but it contains all my makeup. Um, Let's start off with primer. So for our primer, I'm going to be using the Hangover RX primer. This is the Replenishing Face primer. It just feels like really nourishing and like replen replenishing. And like I just really enjoy using it. I bought it um, when Ulta was having their 21 days of beauty sale. And I've been using it since then. And I can say that I really love it. And it has me high key, re like high key thinking about repurchasing it. Let's move on to foundation. I'm gonna use the NYX Total Control Drop Foundation. I like put it onto the back of my hand. It is running everywhere, so let me get my beauty blender, or let me get my beauty sponge. This is the one by um, Sonia Kushka, I think that's how you say it. No. I don't remember who this beauty sponge is by, but I will put it in the description box below. By the way, this is the shade Camel. I need to buy more foundation. Um, I don't know what foundation to buy though. I kind of want to try the Born This Way foundation. Just because I hear Jackie Ina talk about it all the time. And she also like came out foundation shades with them. So like... That just makes me want to try it more because I feel like her supporting it means it's like an amazing foundation and I love Jackie Ina so why wouldn't I love the product that she loves, you know? And I use the LA Girl Pro Conceal. Um, I think this is in the shade, it isn't, yeah, it is in the shade Porcelain. And I'm just going to take that onto the back of my hand. Again, I'm running out of this too. Need to go get more concealer also. And I'm just going to dot that under my eyes, on my forehead, down my nose, the chin, Cupid's bow area. And that is it. And then I'm going to take my beauty blender and I'm going to like take the rounder side of it and I like scraped all like the stuff off my hand onto it and start blending in my concealer. Okay, sorry my grandma called me and interrupted it, but I basically just spent my time blending it out my concealer. And now I am going to be setting it. So for setting, I'm going to be using the Makeup Revolution Luxury Powder. This is the Banana Powder. And I'm just going to be taking that into the cap. And really quick, just going back over and making sure it's blended under my eye. And then there are no lines because I do have really deep lines. So, I just want to make sure it's blended as much as possible before I put any powder on, so that way they're like a little less visible. And so basically, I am just setting whatever I applied the concealer using the powder, and then I'm also doing it around my smile lines as well, just so the foundation doesn't break up and like start settling in the lines throughout the day as I smile. And then also doing my nose pretty well as well because I do get 
oily so I just want to make sure that I am um, oil free and then for my next step I am going to be using more powder so I'm gonna be taking the fit me powder power a little blah, 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 blah. I'm gonna be taking the fit me powder in the shade 240 golden beige and just a fluffier face brush and setting this with my face and then also going around like kind of the smile line area just to add more color back into it and like more more of like a natural skin tone versus it being all like bright you know so yeah um that that's kind of the base and then next i am going to be taking my continuous setting mist and i'm going to be spraying my face this step is just to add some more moisture back into my face. Okay, and also I just I, I just took this fan and I dry my face with it because I'm really extra. And I'm gonna be doing my brows off camera and also my eye makeup off camera as well. My eye makeup is going to be a separate video, so look forward to that. So I'll be right back with this part of my face done okay guys eyes and brows are done so let's move on to the rest of the face so i am going to be taking my abh contour kit this is a medium to tan i'm going to be taking these two colors right here and i am going to be bronzing up my face just a little bit bronze, nothing serious, you know. Just to add some color back into my face. And then I'm also taking it messily down the sides of my nose. Make sure you have like next to nothing left on the brush when you do that step because you don't want to have too much on your brush. And next is contour, and I'm going to be using this next. It's like this half-half thing. I never used the other side of it. I tried it once. I fucking hated it. I used it underneath my eyes, and it was a no-go situation. Would not recommend. But this is the palette Double Date, and so I'm taking the dark side on a pretty stiff brush, and that is what I'm going to be using for my contour. I'm just taking it back and forth and then also just dabbing it in to the outskirts of my face. And then also bring it in and chisel in just to give a little more sculpt. Now oh, don't forget to come to it underneath your jawline as well and then lastly i'm just taking a brush that looks a little something like this and then contouring my nose actually i was gonna use the sponge for that one but you know what let me show you it anyways so i have two everyday blushes that i use um, depending on how my eye look is, I use um, a different blush for a different eye look. I use this one for more cool tone. It is Tarte Blush. I think it's like the Amazonian, yep, Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush in the shade Party. And then for like more warm tone looks, I would I use this, which is a Milani Baked Powder Blush. And this is in the shade Rose Dior. Today I'm using Party just because it calls for a little more of, of this color blush. And so I'm just going to be taking a brush like this. Um, it is from a Tarte collection. Uh, I don't really remember what the collection was called. I just bought the brush up because it was on sale, you know. I'm just going to be applying that to the apples of my cheeks. And then also, you know, taking it back and blending it into my bronzer situation. 
I also like a lot of blush, so I'm gonna be applying quite a bit. Next is a highlight, and it is like my favorite part. Um, I'm gonna be taking my Amorese highlight. This is in collab with Anastasia, and I am just going to be applying that to my cheekbones with a fan brush and then also carrying it up into my um my eyebrow highlight I'm, I'm using it as an eyebrow highlight as well is what i was trying to say and down the center of my nose my cupid's bow my chin and finally my forehead you want to make sure when you go over your forehead that you have the least amount of product on your brush because you want like a little gleam but you don't want to shine you know like well like at least i don't want to so if you want to shine then you go ahead and shine your forehead and lastly to keep my makeup in place i am going to be using some all nighter spray Okay, so I am standing up just to give you guys a better view. This is my final base makeup look. This is basically the look I do every day. Uh, as I said earlier, I do tend to switch out blushes. And I didn't say it, but I do switch out highlights just because it's I like playing with makeup. So I like to add a bunch of different stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup look and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!